Hello everybody, I'm Mrs. Siebert, one of the second grade teachers here at Mountain Song Community School. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about how to set up a nature table in your home. We often do this at our school. I know it is something I do in my classroom and it's a very special tradition that I have. And so I'd like to tell you about some of the things that you might use to create your nature table. First of all, you, would, you want a place to put it. So this is simply a bookshelf that I have covered in fabric, but you can do it on a bookshelf, you can find a table, you can set up a box, even a shoe box will suffice. All you need to do is have some small place that you can set up some beautiful things from nature. I like to use fall colors in my nature table. So you can see I've chosen this yellow, but you might also choose a red or an orange. It can be anything you have. It could even be a t-shirt that you fold up and lay out just for a little bit of color. Of course, this is optional, but it is something that you could choose to do. I think a really helpful place to start is what do we find in nature at this time of year? Now you might find, um, if you are doing it in late September, you might find that there are a great deal of fallen leaves about that you could use. Now when I am creating this video, there aren't that many leaves that have fallen yet. They have only, some of them just started turning colors. So I sadly don't have any fallen leaves to put on my nature table. But what else might I be able to find while I'm out on a walk in my neighborhood? Well, I found this very cool piece of bark that had fallen from a tree and I picked it right up and I'm going to put that on my nature table. It provides a nice little bit of height, which I like. I also found some pine cones. Pine cones would be an excellent addition to any nature table and they are usually fairly easy to find. So the trick is really gathering. Gather first and then you can start to assemble. So now that we have some things from trees, what about other plants that we might be able to add? Well, some sunflowers might be nice. It's that time of year, isn't it? There are lots of sunflowers. Perhaps you have some growing in your yard. Perhaps there is a neighbor who has some that they would not mind sharing with you. Ask before you pick any flowers, please, to make sure it is okay. Another thing you might find that comes from plants, you might find a pumpkin. You can find these at most grocery stores. This little one is called a sugar pie pumpkin, and so I can use it to bake a pumpkin pie when I am done with my nature table for the season. So I'm going to put that up here. And I also have something called a delicata squash, and that is something that often grows in gardens around here, and you can find it also at most grocery stores. So it's another kind of squash that becomes ready at this time of year, and makes for a fun addition to a nature table. So now we have things from plants, but there are other things that we might be able to find, perhaps things that come from the earth herself. So things like rocks. I know that many students love to have a rock collection, and this would be a fantastic way to display some of the findings. Now this is just a, a very cool rock I found on a hike that I took. And really, I like it so much because of its interesting shape and it lets me put things up a little bit higher. So I'm actually going to stack this piece of fool's gold that I love so much. I'm gonna just stack it right up on top because it looks interesting that way, don't you think? It makes it a little taller and a little more interesting. I also have just a small little treasure box that I collect rocks in. So I'm going to put that on my nature table because you can see there are just lots of little polished rocks that I've collected over the years and I'm going to display that as well. So we have things from plants, we have things from the earth, 
but we don't have anything yet from the animals. What might we be able to include? You probably have seen these. Does anybody know what those are? Look at that. Those are porcupine quills. I'm going to ever so carefully place those on my nature table. Mostly for looking and certainly not for touching, for they are sharp. The other thing you might pretty easily find when you are out on a walk is a feather. Now, feathers can come from all different kinds of birds, but these are ones that I have found on my neighborhood walks. And I live in the city. I don't live near a forest or meadows or anything like that. I live in the city and I still can find these from time to time. Also really good to look at your um, neighborhood park because often birds will congregate in those open spaces and your neighborhood park might have some beautiful feathers for you to find. It's all about adventuring and being out in nature so that you can find the treasures that are there. So I have collected quite a jar of feathers and so this I love to put on my nature table every year because it's just so much fun. And it gives the feathers something to be displayed in, which is very handy. You could use anything you like for display. Think about vases you might have or bowls that you could maybe turn upside down and set things on top of. That can be a really nice way as well. Uh, the other thing from an animal that I have that I like to put out is an antler that I found on a hike. And this one's pretty neat because you can see that some of the fuzz from the antler is still left on there. So I'll just neatly place that right there. So now we have animals, we have plants, we have the earth, but we don't have any water. So what I always like to do is put a small vessel that holds water because water is such an important part of nature and a, an important and vital, essential part of our world, right? So it is really nice to have just a small little vessel filled with water, just to remind us of the importance of keeping this water clean and available for all living things. Also from the water are shells seashells that you might find at the ocean. So I have a few different kinds that I like to put. A sweet little starfish, and I'm not sure what this one is, but I collected it at the beach a long time ago. And so I like to put those on my nature table as well. And then, really, what else can you find? What else can you find? You might have an oak tree in your neighborhood that gives you these acorns. The tops are fun, and if you are lucky, maybe you will find an acorn that is still intact. You might place those on your nature table. I think that's about all. You can see it's simple. It's not terribly fancy, but it has lots of interesting things on it. Now, I would enjoy this nature table even if it was just a pumpkin and the sunflowers and a couple of pine cones. That would be enough to be a very special setup. So, I hope that this gives you some fun ideas about how you might bring a nature table to your home and have something wonderful to help anchor you to this time in the year. All right, my friends. Enjoy the rest of the fall festival, and I look forward to seeing you at school again soon. All right, farewell.